Hello everybody. In this video, we'll start to use Jupyter Notebooks and work with some of the Tableau data and see how we can use Pandas as our library to work with this uh, C uh, SV files or the comma separated files. Uh, so as uh, comma separated values. So first of all, we are in Jupyter in our test one book and um, we already looked how we can execute simple commands. Now we need to work with some data. One of the best places to get data is the Kaggle website. They have a lot of data, a lot of data sets that can be used in machine learning, uh, data science, uh, information retrieval, and so on. One of them, for example, if you, and it have a lot of uh, uh, available data. For example, in traffic, you can see like Wikipedia traffic exploration data, uh, traffic law prediction data sets, and so on. Uh, if we go to, for example, website, it will show you some access, some websites, and the phishing uh, information. A lot of users update data so it can be used. It tells you how many notebooks. There is also some of the sample code that you can run, how many data sets. In our case, I will go to cyber security and see what we have here. And one of the interesting data sets that I like to show is the AWS Honeypot attack data. If you go here, it tells you that there's some of the contents about the data acknowledgement to who uploaded 15 columns, and this is the data set, so I can go and download it. And to download it, I will go up here, download. It might ask you for username and password, just make a free account, it's available. I will go to the data now, uh, it's the archive, I will go to make sure this is refreshed yes i will go here to extract it and will extract the file name here and this is the file that i have the honeypot max gear i'll just name it to make it easier to type later on and i go back to my jupyter textbook and first of all i need to use a library here to python which is pandas that enables you to manipulate data and tabular data specifically first of all i need to impose the library so uh, as a concept i usually like to use the comments here for every line that i put in jupyter uh, notebook so i will say import pandas library and for the code it will be import pandas and i call it pd to be easier to reference to i will run the code here okay everything is fine make sure that everything run fine before you go to the next step then i will need to uh, import or to read the uh, csv file so we'll put the pd dash read sorry dot read the csv i will go to put the name of my file i usually can use obsolete pass so i'll go back again here to the downloads archive this is a file that i have the obsolete pass i will go copy and paste here copy and paste it here and then the file name I usually like the copy and paste so I don't do any, uh, don't cause any typo. Make sure because it's a string, the double slash, the slash has to be double in order to get the pass correctly to the compiler. And then I will click run. Yes, now I retrieved all the tables so it's good. I can see all the data. Uh, using panda usually it's it's um, interesting to use parameters so for example i will use um, the all traffic and i call this is the name of the table that i have again i will run it now the parameter is in and you can do all the exploration second thing here let's see how we can get i will see some information about the traffic so if i will put if I will just type all traffic, it will retrieve me the table. So I go and run. 
yeah this is all the table let's see uh, what columns of data we have we have daytime host source protocol type and country okay that's interesting let's see what countries we have let's filter this table um by country so if i will put this command here let's list them for country so all traffic this is the name of the table now that i already named it here and i will say show me just the country field which is right here let's see what the output will be okay this is a list of the countries now i really want to see some statistics about that let's see what is the occurrence of the countries here so for this one i will use this command i will recall again the old traffic those country for the field and i use the built-in function value underscore counts let's run it there's some typo here all right now the function value counts returned me the list of the source countries and the frequency of occurrence in that so let's get the top of it so i to get the top of it to not write again i'll just name it something i'll call it um i'll create u list and now to get the top 10 i will say your list from 0 to 10 because it's already sorted here if not i will can use the sort method but now it gives me just the sorted method i'll go to run it uh your list yes because anytime you define something you need to go and rerun the line so it will go to the compiler now if we were in our line here okay now we have the top country china united states japan iran taiwan and goes to russia um, numbers are good what i like usually to do is to see it in graphical a more visual um, representation of the data to do that first of all i want to change the output of this u list into a frame so i, I make u list from 0 to 10 the previous one I will send it to frame and let's run this one now I get the output in a tabular method the countries and the frequency of occurrence and I will call this list for example frame a and i'll rerun it again now i can plot the frame a now and use a plot function i will send it to um a bar horizontal and with the default values now i go and run yeah that's how i get the data so I can see now in a much better view the relationship between how, for example, the country, the highest country here is China, represented to the other attacks that we have here. And this is a simple example of how to use Jupyter Pandas and some open source for CSV files. So for the homework, I would like you to get a clean shot till you reach this step of the country plot for 10 top 10 countries in this specific available free data set thank you